In this video, I'm going to share with you four tricks on how to keep your feet -ting, warm in the cold while you're camping, adventuring, hiking, and climbing. Tip number one, use a vapor barrier liner. Vapor barrier liners like this one, the hot sack from Western Mountaineering, are basically an expensive mylar garbage bag that you put inside of your sleeping bag that will keep you warm. Now, these bags are not comfortable to sleep in. Will they keep your feet warm? Yes. Will you get clammy? Yes. I had to use this one in Antarctica a couple times when I got sick, coughing up blood. Great time. Read about it in the book. But vapor barrier liners are a great last resort to, oh my gosh, I'm freezing. Now, you don't have to get a super expensive vapor barrier liner like this Mylar loaded goodness. You can actually use an old school trash bag, like a black hefty trash bag, put it around your feet and you can actually keep your feet very warm. Now I've had some debates with subscribers and commenters on my channel about where to put your vapor barrier liner. Some argue with me saying you should put your vapor barrier liner over your sleeping bag. Others say not in it or anything. You could do whatever you want. I'm just telling you this based on my experience and my experience alone. A vapor barrier liner means it is completely waterproof, sealed, just like a trash bag. If you put your vapor barrier liner over your sleeping bag, so seal that guy up from the outside, I can pretty much guarantee and promise you that you will wake up soaking wet because the moisture from your body, the transpiration, that transports from your body through the down because it's hot and into the atmosphere will be trapped by your vapor barrier liner and you will wake up in a soaking wet sleeping bag. So your mileage may vary, but that's my experience. <laughs> Number two, the corollary to that. If you want to keep your feet warm in the cold, dry out your sleeping bag in the morning. I've got several videos on how to dry out your sleeping bag. Check out links in the description below. But in the morning, the moment you can brave getting out of your sleeping bag, flip that guy inside out, put it around your body, and start using your body as a dryer to dry your sleeping bag as much as possible. Because if you don't dry out your sleeping bag every morning, not every so often, but every morning, you will pull out your sleeping bag the next day, all the down will be soaked, and then you will have freezing feet. I don't want you to have freezing feet. Tip number three, this is the glorious moment you've been waiting for. Down booties. I cannot recommend down booties enough. These little glorious things are now always in my sleeping bag except for the summer. And the down booties keep my feet warm even though it's crazy cold. I just put them in there. I just literally, instead of putting them in, in another bag, I actually jam my down booties into the bottom of my sleeping bag and then I compress my sleeping bag into my stuff sack so they're always there so I don't lose them. They're black in a black bag so yes they are very easy to lose but trust me these down booties are worth double the price that I paid for them. And tip number four is if you're in a humid or moist climate perhaps choose a synthetic sleeping bag. There are very high-end synthetic sleeping bags out there. If you're going to somewhere like the Arctic, where you're on the Arctic Ocean, and even though it's minus 40 degrees, that water temperature is 29 degrees or minus 2 degrees Celsius, and that water comes up and it soaks everything. So for the regular people, think Pacific North, what, Northwest, the land of wet. I've lived there. Holy smokes, it's wet there. So a down bag may not be the right choice for you. A synthetic bag will keep you warm when it's wet. Down once it gets not just moist, but wet will not keep you warm. I promise you I've done it and I've froze. My name is Aaron Linstow. I'm a author of the How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, 100 plus tips on how to keep your tootsies ding, warm in the cold while you're camping, adventuring, hiking, and climbing. Please check out the links below in the description to the books and everything I've written about. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.